Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back. I am going to be doing an unboxing for my Eno Couture scoop. I did only order one scoop and I'm completely, totally, fabulously surprised and satisfied with it. For those of you that have already watched my unboxing of a three in one, you've already seen this portion so you don't have to watch this video again. Um, this is more so for the people only interested in the Eno Couture scoops. If you've never purchased from him, I would definitely say a, a scoop is worth it. I've seen people with three scoops and I've been told that buying more than one scoop wasn't really worth it. They should have just bought one. But I've seen others that was totally worth it and got a lot more things than I did. Um, I was hoping I would get a hand or something, a practice hand, because I do not own one. But other than that, I'm I'm no I'm not complaining. Twenty bucks for all this, and with the discount code, it was like twenty five dollars with shipping and handling. Totally worth it. So I'm showing you everything I got. I did not get doubles. You do see several of the same color, but they are different shapes. I am completely satisfied with what I got. I've been wanting to try the products. I just couldn't bring myself to order anything. Um, Cause I mean, you guys know it's very controversial. You're either pro or against. And I guess I'm just like, I was on the fence, but I mean, $20 is $20. And this is well worth more than $20 for everything I got. I'm totally satisfied with it. Um, I got things I wanted and a few things I was a little not disappointed, just um surprised, I guess. Just I don't know. But I got some shimmer glitters, I got some little different types of nails. Here I'll be showing you like how they fit on my hands or my fingers and after the unboxing I will be um making a set. So it's with stuff that came in this unboxing which i totally totally like like mm, i don't know what else to say other than you know i'm very grateful and appreciative for the 20 dollars scoops i would go back and order a second scoop if i could be guaranteed i would get like a hand in it but more tips I don't really need I don't really do press-ons um, however this will come in handy for a few people and more so my sister as like at the forethought of my brain because she is allergic to acrylics so these will be perfect for her and there's a variety of sizes shapes and colors that she can pick through so I just wanted to try out the system on myself and I will be doing that. And here's the bubblegum jelly stuff that is a really pretty color, like very pretty. Um, I actually used it on a set for New Year's that I did not record, but I decided let's see what we can create. Like a quick, easy set if you're trying to get out of the door and want something done in less than 20 minutes. So, yeah. I'm just putting on some base gel because I do kind of want these to pop off, but this is how I've done my New Year set, and they stayed on for four days, and then I could easily pop them off, so um, this is just how I'm going to go about it because I'm just wanting to test the system and get to know it a little bit more and try something I didn't do, but I picked the peach because that's not a color I would typically go for. Um, I thought they were more like of a peachy color, not really a nude. And I'm, you'll see at the end, I'm totally in love with the look. Uh, it came out to be a more natural look. Like they do look like a natural nail, especially where I'm using the gummy jelly. So right now I'm just sizing out the tips and I'm going to make me uh like it's not a press on set, I guess it's the prairie dupe or um the lazy girl method, as Femi Beauty would say. And I'm sorry, I just totally butchered that name. Uh it's Femi Beauty. But 
I will let you guys enjoy. The rest of the set is pretty straightforward. I do need to pull out my foil glue for the design and I guess I'll just stay on long enough to explain what I'm about to do on the next now. What I love about this gummy jelly, and I don't recommend flash curing or using your UV light around any gel. It will cure it, but I got a little bit too much out right here, and I used another nail because I, I'm waste not want not type of mentality, and I'm using the same nail that I got scooped out the extra, and just going to scoop out some more extra and then fix my nail and make sure it's on straight and just a real quick flash cure but what i was saying do not i do not recommend you do it this close to your product like gel products they do cure fortunately this did not happen to me but um you know just don't do it um it's, it's best not to do it you're not risking messing up your product uh, i like the pink bubblegum jelly behind the nude nail because it made it look more natural it does look like a natural nail gr growth and i really really like it it kind of looks like an overlay and i am so sorry if my voice is like in and out of its normal range i am a little sick at the moment um dealing with some stuff that at the moment I don't really want to talk about but I am sorry for that um so I'm just going to go in and file the little nub off the tip of the nail and you'll see I already organized my stuff in the kit and unfortunately I put too many brushes at the bottom and it made it push it up into the lid so right now i'm about to go in and take out a few things and put it on the top part and that leveled it out just fine it works fine but i was just going in to get the bit so i could seal around the cuticles which if you lay it properly you don't really need to do this part because i didn't do it the first time i used uh, well the next time i use it and i didn't have to do this and it looked flush it looked flawless it was great so yeah <clears throat> but if it does seep out like it did a little bit at my cuticle area that's why i'm going in with the e-file and just filing it off and you see that i'm like i don't want to use the file right there in that particular spot because it was actually on my skin so do be very careful when you're doing this and make sure you wipe it off because it can get on your skin and you can develop an allergic reaction and i'm sorry my hair is just in frame so this is the foil glue and i will let you watch the rest of me designing these nails um i appreciate you guys for watching and being around and if you stick around until here go ahead and leave the timestamp of 9 13. thank you i'll see you on the next one take care be safe be happy and take care of yourselves if you are the
If you are the one who came with me, please tell me who I was. If you are the one who died with me, like ashes in the sea, can you be the one who's strong in faith and love and keep breathing next to me? Can you be the one who fight the world with me? It's fate. Pero cuidado que yo estoy Busquen 